Lucas Fuel Injector Cleaner versus a turbocharged direct injection engine, also known as a GDI. Guys, you may also know the Lucas Fuel Injector Cleaner as the Lucas Upper Cylinder Lubricant. We all know about the many problems with the direct injection engine with the carbon buildup on the intake valves. We know that it doesn't spray gasoline on the back of the valves, which would typically clean the carbon buildup off on a port injection engine. Now, will this product actually work? Because you do pour it into the fuel tank, so it's not going to go into the back of the intake valves. Well, there are many other problems that people really don't mention that often. Rarely do I ever hear about it. And this problem is actually the worst. The fuel injectors become clogged, or at least partially clogged, many times screwing up the spray pattern on the fuel injectors. So the Lucas is a really great product to clean these injectors out. As you can see, I've done extensive testing. I even tested the SuperTech formula to see if it worked out just as well. Now, using this product, I found that not only did it clean the fuel injectors, but guys, this isn't harmful like a lot of other cleaners are. So you can use it on a regular basis without having to worry about any damage to your GDI engine. It doesn't contain any harmful solvents. So you can see as well, the formula does contain something that allows it to help out with engine compression. So not only for a old worn out engine is this very useful, but for a new engine, it can actually help you to maintain the engine over a period of time. You know that inside the combustion chamber up to a certain point, there is actually no lubrication. That's actually one of the downfalls. Now that's why the Lucas upper cylinder lubricant gives you such a big advantage, guys. Using this product within the combustion chamber will give you the lubrication that you wouldn't have had. Now, that's gonna make your engine last a whole lot longer. And I'm not just trying to give you guys a bunch of snake oil. Matter of fact, I don't care if you buy it or not. It doesn't matter to me. I own no stake in the company. Check all the videos out. I have plenty of proof backing this up. I've tested many cleaners. And I'm not gonna say that Lucas is even the strongest one. As a matter of fact, it's not, definitely. But as I said, that's one of the advantages because it doesn't contain a lot of harmful solvents. Over a period of time though, it gives you a lot of protection. And that extra compression is actually gonna help out. It could improve your fuel economy. I've done fuel testing as well. Driving, extensive testing on the driving tests. Now, Lucas is a great product, but I will say this, you don't have to use it all the time, guys. And one bottle of this stuff, it lasts a really long time. I mean, just three ounces, I believe it is, as you can see on the bottle, will treat like 10 gallons of fuel. So I'm not sure how much you're driving, but hey, that should last you multiple months easily, maybe six months or more. Over a period of time, using the Lucas product, you also see that it can help to clean the fuel system as well. Many people don't realize the problems with direct injection engines, and they have them. I mean, it's not just that but you have the turbocharged part as well. So you're under much higher temperatures, more extreme pressures, and other issues that you face with a turbocharged engine. We all know these engines are getting smaller and smaller and smaller. They're applying more and more uh, compression to the engines. Uh, they're changing the timing. They're changing a lot of things, adding ethanol to the fuel. Every bit of protection can really go a long way you'd be really surprised to see what would actually work to help you to maintain your engine. Now, as I said, hey, don't buy it. I don't give a crap. If you want your engine to last, that's up to you. I don't know about yourself, but I'm pretty tight when it comes to that. Plus, I like to do little science experiments. I like to see how long I can make my engines last. And I will say this, I have never, ever, had an engine go down on me. Anything relating to the engine and anything the oil touches, never, not once. Now, yeah, I've had other things fail. You know, of course, everyone does a tire blowout or something silly, having to change bushings, lower control arm bushings, um, struts, things of that nature. But when it comes down to the engine, absolutely not. 
by doing these simple maintenance steps, I've actually been able to make my engines last almost forever. As a matter of fact, it really gets to the point where the entire car is just completely falling apart. So I end up getting rid of the vehicle for those reasons, not because the engine. That will actually go on for a really long time, guys. So please, follow the manufacturer's recommendations and take care of your vehicles. As always, guys, hey, drop down in the comments. Let us know what you do to help make your engine last a long time. All the helpful tips are greatly appreciated. Thank you for watching Nate's Interactive Auto.